Hello, it's Monday. Good morning. How are you? Today I'm eating frogs. Generally, I reserve my Tuesdays for frog eating because I can do it unobserved and uninterrupted. There are fewer people in the house on Tuesdays, but today is one of those kinds of Mondays and so I figured I'd eat frogs now. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. Frog eating um, is how my friend Brenna and I describe doing hard things. The stuff that has slipped to the bottom of my to-do list, um, the things that I've been approaching forever um, because I'm afraid of them or there's a learning curve, um, but I need to step over the threshold. And so when I tell you that we're eating frogs, um, it's that we're stepping over the threshold. So today I'm going to pressure can some chicken. I have been wanting shelf stable chicken in the house. So I figured today's the day. I know intellectually it's a safe thing, right? But the my like hind brain is screaming, you can't do that at home. It was 99 cents a pound at the grocery store. I grabbed like four pounds. So we're gonna test drive it. Come on along. I've consulted a bunch of different videos and books about how to pressure can my chicken and I, I've got it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna be doing is cutting it into these one and a half by one and a half chunks. Um, it's gonna cut up some chicken while we hang out. Is that cool? Oh, also I'm getting off like as much fat as I possibly can because that's gonna solidify in my jars as the jars cool down from being canned. And it's less pretty. So it's like 11 o'clock and I'm on my first pot of coffee and I've already eaten a couple of frogs. They were paperwork. Let's have a frank discussion about those things that sink to the bottom of the to-do list. Or or in my case, they move on a post-it from one page of my notebook to the next page. These frogs that we must eat. It's funny, my kids can refer to these as um, adult tasks. And they usually involve something that they just haven't had to navigate yet. Side note young people, they don't know what they don't know yet. They just got here, right? TLDR, teach a man how to fish, but feed him along the way, you know? What's wrong with you? Share your damn sandwich. So in the notion of eating frogs and canning chicken, um, I, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of reading up. I have watched a lot of videos. I've talked to a few people and I feel I feel pretty good about this now, about giving this a shot. But this is definitely one of those frogs that has moved from page to page and down my list over and over again. So today is the day. This is one of the easier frogs to eat and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I'm gonna be using my trusty Carry Electric Pressure Canner to do this chicken today. I understand that a lot of people have feelings about electric pressure canners. This is my choice. You do you in your kitchen. I just won't engage about that. I'm being a little bit ambitious. I've got four quarts out. I do not believe that this quantity of chicken will fill much more than like two to three. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna start packing these jars. Um, I'm told I should not go any less than one and a quarter inch headspace. Y'all, I forgot to put in the salt. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of salt and I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna prep these two jars in case. Yeah. Let's take a look at headspace. Yep, a little more than an inch, so we should be good. Vinegar, paper towel, just cleaning it up real, real good. Lid, lid. As always, finger tight. I have my canner set up with the water in it. And these guys, pressure canners work best when they are full. So I'm gonna add in a couple of artisanally over-processed water bottles. It's just gonna fill this up. And 
lock it. It will vent. I'm gonna set this pressure canner up for 90 minutes. There's a lot of beeping. I'm not gonna subject you to that nonsense. Here's the thing about frogs though, right? Eating frogs. Sometimes they, you just never get to eat them. They wind up down, way down on the bottom of the to-do list, like over and over again, right? So what I think that means when it happens to me, um, that's a pretty clear indication that there's either a giant roadblock in the way or it's just not a priority anymore. So I've been going back through my journals and looking around and um, there's definitely some weight I'm gonna get rid of here. The thing about tolerable frogs, like stuff that's just gonna take a lot of effort or you have to research first or, oh God, I've gotta make a million phone calls. The thing about handling those frogs, you get them off your back. All the things they haven't done yet. Okay. It's tomorrow and this is our chicken. I gotta tell you, I'm not unimpressed with this. Um, it looks basically like what canned chicken looks like when you take it out of the can, you know? I'm gonna take the rings off of these, test them, and pick them right up by the lid. And the next time I'm gonna make enchiladas, I don't have to buy a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Plot twist, peas are over. I'm pulling down the last of the peas. We are done with them for the season. I'm finding the occasional beautiful pod in here. That for sure was a huge frog. Um, I hate pulling anything out. It hurts my feelings. Like, for example, the peas looked like they were gonna flower again, but you know what? Every year I'm like, oh, maybe they'll, maybe they'll bloom a second time and we'll get a second rush. Um, and yeah, no, we just don't have quite enough days of growing time here, unless I had been like succession sowing them, which I just, um, but yeah, these are the last of the snow peas. These were really good. I didn't think I liked snow peas. Guess what? <laughs> I like snow peas. So we have a lot of room now that the peas are down. Lots and lots of room. The corn is going to get a little more light, which is nice. The tomatoes have some room to use this trellis. Cucumbers have room to use this trellis. And there's just a whole... There is a whole bunch of fruit ripening on these cucumber plants that now have the sun to assist them. We're looking good, we're looking good. Oh, look at you. Hello, Mr. Pickle. I'll give you a couple more days. Thank you. Look what I found. Look what I found. It's bean season now. We're doing bean things. I really thought we had a few more weeks, but don't get me wrong, I am completely thrilled. All right, this year, we're not gonna make the mistake of picking them too late when they're stringy and difficult to eat. We're gonna eat a lot of these fresh this year. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's so many beans in here. So I suppose there's no trick to eating a frog aside from, well, you know, eating the frog. <laughs> uh, but we got a few eaten today. I got the peas down, made lots and lots of room for the cucumbers and the tomatoes and the corn that are in there um, that I planted right around the same time as I put in the starts and they're doing really good. Um, and we got that chicken canned and I feel so much better for having done all of it. Here's what I wanna leave you with. Getting to those hard things or not getting to those hard things. Let yourself define them in terms of priority. What do you want to be doing? What do you want for a result? And then dive in there. That's the best I got, my friend. Thank you for hanging out with me today while I sorted and swallowed some frogs. I'm gonna go inside now and take care of these uh, 
last little peas and the beans and that cucumber. And by take care of the cucumber, I mean, I'm gonna eat it. I will catch you up soon. Take care. Share your sandwich.